So our best theory of space-time is Einstein's theory of general relativity. And that's both a theory of space-time and a theory of gravity. And space-time is, it's an entity, it's a, it's a material, which is not, it's very different from the kinds of materials that we were used to in physics up, a, up until the, be, the beginning of the 20th century. So most materials in physics we thought of as being, as, as existing in space. So they have a three-dimensional quality to them. So um, the, the matter has extent in three dimensions. So space-time is an entity that doesn't just have extent in three dimensions, but is fully four-dimensional in extent. Now, it, it's true that that's, that is a difficult concept, but in physics, you always bootstrap up your, in, your, your understanding. So you understand a simpler situation first, and then you say, ah, but this situation is like that, but just one more, or it's like that, but 10 times bigger. Or, so you, you, the, the intuition that's required to conceive of a four-dimensional thing is, is difficult and it's not something that I, I personally can claim to hold in my head that I actually see four-dimensional things in my head but I just bootstrap up my, my, my understanding from well I, I know what a two-dimensional thing is a surface which has two dimensions it means it has you can draw on a coordinate grid onto a two-dimensional surface and to locate any particular point in that surface I need two coordinates a three-dimensional thing, I could imagine drawing a three-dimensional grid and to locate any point in it I would need three numbers. You know, I'd need the three-dimensional the three coordinates to locate where it is. So a four-dimensional thing is like that. It's something which you need four sets of four coordinates to locate it. And I can't point to it or draw it on a piece of paper and no one can. But the, you just say, well, it's like that, but I just add one dimension. So it's a four-dimensional substance. And the amazing thing is that we, you and I are also four-dimensional substances. In, the, in, in general relativity, that's the, the picture of the world that we have. It's not just that space-time is four-dimensional, but everything is four-dimensional. Everything that exists, exists along with space-time in a four-dimensional way. So you are not just a three-dimensional thing that exists at different moments of time evolving f into the future, you actually are a four-dimensional world tube or world volume sweeping, sweeping out your history and that's you, that the, 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 the basic most fundamental description that we have according to our current best science, agreed upon science, is that you're a fully four-dimensional thing. You don't, have an, you don't have an existence in space with time ticking away. You're actually a four-dimensional world tube. And that raises an immediate question, which is why you experience time passing. So if you're just this tube, why, do you, why is there some special moment of now? And I think that that is one of the questions. We don't, I mean, there's, at the moment, we have no particular answer to that question. It's one of the questions that may be answerable in the future. So which brings me on to my particular approach, my, my, my work, um, which is to try to understand space-time at a deeper and form more fundamental level. And the hypothesis that my research is based upon is that space-time, this four-dimensional entity, this four-dimensional fabric, is actually not smooth and continuous, but is composed of individual atomic units. So space-time itself is, is granular. It's made of, of grains of space-time or atoms of space-time. And the smooth, continuous, the, the smoothness and the continuity that we experience is just because we're very large and the scale of, of the granularity of the atomicity is so very small. So just like you experience um, water as a fluid, it seems continuous and you don't see any evidence of its, of its discreteness. 
that's because we're large and we're looking at it at a large, at, um, at a, at a large scale. But when you probe its, its microscopic structure, then it's actually made of atoms and molecules. So it's the same kind of concept.